Well, she thought that it is time for everybody to decide that we don't want this kind of life. We need to move forward. Mm. And then, like you just said, Okuja Tawablakwa re-emphasizing what he's been preaching all this while mm. that, to listen, we need to go after these individuals. There is a need for accountability. Mm. And so, I mean, for a final rally, you would expect that these individuals who do as much as they can to send their messages across. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe nobody has heard it. This is the time for them to hear it. Probably so. But the concern for a lot of Ghanaians is if he will continue with this interception and exposés, if his party should be in power. He has reiterated the fact that he's still going to continue with his exposés, whether his party is in power or not, whether it involves members belonging to his party yeah. or not. But we're yet to see. Uh, that really depends on who eventually emerges winner yes. and of when the, the elections. Is and given. if that happens, yes. that's when we'll be able to judge yeah. if he's still going to expose his members because I mean when it comes to the issue of corruption um, the NDC is equally uh, or has equally had its fair share of corruption scandals in the mm -hmm. past and so if they should come we cannot guarantee that then there won't be any scandal and if that's the case would he boldly come out and of course almost every Saturday morning we see him here on the key points exactly. talking extensively about how many documents he has intercepted given details you know uh, to the letter and so is he going to continue with that if his party because should come Because at the end of the day there are people who have also argued that in as much as these exposés are fantastic, they are helping people to see what's going on, is there what also happens? not a political interest behind it? Mm. And so if it is within your party, are you going to continue to do that? Exactly. Will you wash the dirty linen of your party in public? Mm. And that's what all of us wait to see, really, whether that would happen. Should the NDC win power come mm. December 7, which is just uh, on Saturday, yeah, less than 48 of days. hours away. Well, really. one, one of their key uh, messages is oral, operation, recover all loot. Mm -hmm. It's in the NDC's manifesto, and they're yeah. saying that they're going to ensure that they recover. Because, again, the other conversation has been, so all these monies have been squandered. Now, when or if the M NDC comes back into power, are they going to be able to recover all these monies and prosecute the people if they are found guilty? All these people who have been fingered in all these yeah. uh, corruption scandals. Will that happen? Well, the NDC has included that in their manifesto. If you listen to, um, you know, Movement for Change, uh, Honorable Alan Chamati, he also says that there's going to be a special czar or prosecutor and who's also a going to exactly change. who's also going to ensure that the office of the special prosecutor, which is not going to be necessarily their office, but rather a, a czar, is also going to ensure that all issues concerning corruption are dealt with the way Ghanaians are expecting as well. Yeah. I mean, on the part of the NPP, I'm, I may be wrong, but I'm not sure I've heard much about the issue of corruption and how they intend to deal with it. But I'm sure that they also do have a plan with regards to what they intend to do. Have they done it under the Kufuado government? That's also where the question and mark exactly, is. Exactly. That is one of the reasons people would decide, okay, if I give my vote to Dr. Mahmoud Obaomiya, will it be all... I mean, am I, are we going to see the promises mm. he's giving us now? Or is it going to be as we've seen before? Because he's been in power for the past uh, eight, almost eight years mm -hmm. now. And so what is, is it going to be really something different? And we've seen his manifesto as well, mm -hmm. bold solutions. We heard the NDC representatives who spoke earlier criticizing, even some Yokuja told that we just heard, actually yeah. spoke about it, that mm -hmm. he's speaking about bold solutions and going to launch E-Gate, and yet we have other corrupt activities there. And so we really want to see what all these individuals uh, want to do. The NDC, you talked about the manifesto, but one of the things that it's looking forward to is that, big push yeah. that is saying is going to have about 10 billion dollars to uh, invest in infrastructure i mean continue projects that have been abandoned and all of that again it's also about money if we're saying the economy is broke and the country is in a bad state how are we going to do that if the ndc wins within the first yeah. four years of that government and so it's 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 not going to be easy for either of the parties that would win uh, this general election mm. well let's head back to Medina at this point and it looks like we're going to be spending the whole night listening to messages from various individuals within the NPP and the NDC you know what maybe let's go back to the MPP because the national chairman of the party is addressing the crowd now <laughs> Or Chinachi, I go to a bar. Now, you better say, she said, or bar back on a yamuma to assert our faith and our belief in the new patriotic party. And Sana Yakoko, your next president in the person of 
Alhaji Dr. Mahamudu Baumia. Kukrudu. Kukrudu. Yo. Yakane sawiye no. Yakane sawiye no. Memba sami di kasa beshe mu bebre. Ni po bebre wa haya waso mu kasa. Enti me dia nkranhye ana as national chairman. Me she obi nkran. Se a few days I can hear you talk to a baby. I'm a baby, I'm a mama, I'm a mama, I'm a mama, I'm a queen, I'm a so. If you say, I'm going to be a yeah, 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 a baby, a baby, a baby. A chinye jebya niho obyanti minji sa victory no huwa a chinye. I'm going to be a baby niho. Mitimekasa ta mwaso. Mitimekasa ta mwaso. Ta mwaso. Ta mwaso. Kukuru, wode mi vakasa nshe mo. Mede, eni jie, eni jamo, mungi mo ni, na munti e ensempano, ensumfrim pe yifo yin yina ho. Mide mwasi bebre. Mighty cool down the storm. Can they cool down the storm. Plenty enemies on top. You just watched the, the national chairman of the governing New Patriotic Party, Stephen Ayesu, in team, are charging the people on uh, to vote for, of course, the MPP's flag bearer, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, and I believe the parliamentary candidate as well, the Ainayawa, so West Wogan. And, and yeah, so they are not leaving anything to chance at mm. all. It's just time or so. Time I saw, yes. Time I saw to two about or because I was a little confused when I heard him say that. Yeah, I, I thought you understood, so I wanted to come to you. Well, I, I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a spokesperson, but I guess he's trying to say that it's yeah. time for them to cast their ballot, and so it's time maybe to bring Dr. Baumia into. To break the eight. Yeah, it, probably. Mm. Are, are they even still going with the tag break the eight? Especially I haven't because heard that could it confuse. Actually, today yeah. I haven't heard it, but I haven't heard it since they occupied the number one spot on the yeah. ballot paper because they also do not want to confuse. Uh, their voters anyway and so anyway, that's important yes, that yes. you know now they're saying what's number one number one and then i've heard the ndc say breaking the eight to secure the eight to whatever I mean, the eight i mean it's also very confusing yeah. uh, up there but vote for who you believe is the best um for you but we should we have to cross over to the ndc yes grounds? yes and we we do have uh, one of the uh, senior executives of the ndc as well addressing the crowd in medina the stronghold of the opposition party. Let's just go and uh, take a look at what's happening there. What's the matter to Tumbarusu? Domba Kudi, Kuya Amkuri, John Ramani Mamalazo on the 7th December, Zoe Garamana Garimu, Kowa Yatashi Aiki, Asuba, 7th December, Aina Fura Roki Allah, Allah Bashi Nasara, Kaba, John Ramani, Zu. Kakare, Sasu Kapashiza, Magala Nadongu, Lago de Muku, Lago de Muku, Salama de Kora Matula. Thank you. Ayasu, Choboi, Mama, Mama, Osay, Labisiasa, Labisiasa, Mama, Mama, Osay. Chavai, Mama, Je, John, Mama, Je, Chavai, Ayesu, Yewa Yen Yano PNC Fuawa, Electoral Commission, MPP, Yama Film, Amosama, Insolence, John, Ramani, Madi, NDC, Policy, Aribano, and Nabuagana. So we invite the PNC leadership. Namuni Abekasa, Honorable Mohan Mada, also a Chamber of Summer Lukakra, Chaboy, PNC for a half. They are supporting the NDC. They are voting boom, 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 boom. And the Vice Chancellor, Sir John Ramarema. Chaboy!
If you love Ghana and you know, clap your hands. If you love Ghana and you know, clap your hands. If you love Ghana and you really love Ghana, clap your hands. Choboy. Choboy. 2024. Ghana has decided for John Dramani Mama as President of the Republic of Ghana. Since our disqualification from contesting the 2024 elections, it took only one brave and courageous person to chide the Electoral Commission and to tell the truth that Bernard Mona and the PNC are more worthy than some of the people on the ballot and John Dramani Mahama is the only person that could say that. Since the National Executive Committee's declaration that the PNC should join John Dramani Mahama for president, we have gone about 11 regions and what we see is that Ghana has decided and that change has come to Ghana. It is just a day from today that we will be casting our ballot. And we of the PNC urges every Ghanaian who is that desirous of getting employment for the young ones in our society to see the 24-hour economic proposal by John Ramani Mama as a veritable program that will secure jobs for the millions of Ghanaian youths. We have no doubt Bernard Mona, who was hoping to find his face on the ballot paper, unfortunately got disqualified by the EC, speaking at the NDC rally. And just a day or two ago, he and his party declared their support for the NDC. And so not surprising to see him there. But let's head over now to the MPP rally grounds. The general secretary for the party is also speaking, Justin Frimpong Kodia. Let's listen to him. <laughs> Religious discrimination and our person on the bar. Yam Prem, Yam Banin C, December 7, Saturday, and Yam Diabato and Yakakoto, and now religious discrimination. Onyanum, the Amidi Jamon said, We are winning the elections. 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 Nothing can change it. Nothing can stop our victory. Nothing can change it. Nothing can stop our victory. Baumia is the incoming president. Baumia is the incoming president. Nothing will change it. And this cannot stop it. Choboy. Choboy. Kukudu. Kukudu. You are Baumia. They are going to force the country on the side. Abaya kwa kwatu no, eye dachi abani ya kwatu. Peni biya kase mi, ose amayoni, se o mani tu miya, she se o besabo wa ni ma besira utu mi ni biyum. Ya kwatu aba, ya tuwa ma baumia, eni mse ya ura laji baumia, 2028, o besaba ya ni mbiyum. Ya ura kwa kete nkete diya wansa mba ya ni mbiyum. So when you to me now, he will never be accountable to us. If he said four years back and obey me, I call. Asama yebusa gana for one say four and I eight then I open. Four and eight then I open. Four and eight then I open. Four and eight then I open. And I eight no and I didn't kunim. We are going. Heaven knows where we are going. We know we will, we will get there. Having no sound. We are going. Yeah. Having no where we are going. We know we will. Justin.
Kevin from Pong Cody are also testing his vocals on stage um, with that song, a very popular song. They are going. They know they're going and they know they will get there. That's what the MPP is saying. I'm, I'm not sure where, but I believe but that for them. The song says, heaven knows where we are going. So heaven is the only one who can determine who will win ah, okay. uh, at the end of the December 7 election. So I guess that's why they chose that mm. song, yeah. really. So at the moment, it's only God who knows exactly. Yeah, the finality she of the elections. perhaps. Mm, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> or maybe not. You never know. Yeah. Yeah. But, but he's confident, though, that the MPP would win. I mean, he kept saying that the MPP is winning this election. And it's not the first time that you would hear him say that. Mm. So, uh, well, I, I want to believe that both parties have done their own studies. They've done their own research on the ground. They know, in fact, the truth is that even before the elections, they know whether they are winning or losing because mm. they have their own internal research and stuff. So, but obviously, if you know you're, you're, you're losing, you can't come out to say that mm -hmm. I'm losing. You still want to charge the crowd on and at least getting as many as possible to vote for you mm. irrespective of whatever you've seen ahead of the of the polls mm. well it really depends i mean if you look at the polls there are some that favor the mpp there are some that favor the ndc and then there are some that also favor the mpp but says that there's going to be a runoff yeah. that's professor smart sapon and so really i guess that it's mixed reactions or mixed feeling at the moment because they're not really sure mm. whether it's really going in their favor or not but you cannot be on that stage and not be confident i Obviously, mean yes you you really have to charge the crowd this is your opportunity and the to last change one, the actually. minds of floating voters undecided voters you cannot come on there with very low energy you have to do your best. Well, yeah. we have some musicians also performing uh, at the moment for both parties as well. Understandably so. I think they are monitoring each other, perhaps, <laughs> what's going on on each camp. Because when uh, 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 the other, the women's organizer was on for the NDC, we had Samia Uku, a former national youth organizer, also for the MPP being on. Mm. And both individuals on both platforms are really strong, vociferous individuals for their mm. respective parties. Mm.